Hi, welcome to my first video of 2023, which will be hopefully a short one. I want to flip through my reading journal. As you can see, it is not a notebook. I did, I did fall into a book tube rabbit hole at the start of the year. And I've watched a lot of reading journal setups and uh, mostly everyone does a big notebook that, which is very pretty and like artistically beautifully set up and stuff. And I thought I would make one too. But as I'm a very inconsistent reader, sometimes I will read 60 books in a year, sometimes it's only three. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to spend the money or the time uh, setting up a huge book and since I'm using a TN uh, anyway this year I thought I would just use an insert for this so this is what I did um, it's a cover page with a daily reading tracker next for like the whole year I'm just going to uh, note every day that I've read, which will be hopefully every day, but let's be honest, it probably will not. So yeah, then I have a Goodreads challenge. I have set a goal on Goodreads and it's basically a 23 in 2023. I hope to read 23 books. I don't know if I will. I mean, I could, I could read three times this amount but I could also read like three books um, I probably won't read three books but because I'm already almost done with like four so yeah <laughs> um, so yeah this is my challenge page I kind of uh, yeah this is empty <laughs> I don't know why anyway this is my reading list like I said I almost already finished almost all of these so uh, this is a reading list for every month uh, which books I've read with a star rating I don't do anything else but a star rating I don't review books I'm, I'm not a note taker I I just I cannot like just stop every time and take notes about no that's I don't do that so uh, this insert is is fine for me um, my star rating which most books probably will have a two star rating because i like to to have more categories for the good books than i have for the bad books so uh if it's just one star it's a eh, meh didn't didn't really like it but finished uh if it doesn't have a star i did not finish it will be a dnf which might happen I mean, I don't know. A two star rating is the okay books. It's, it's fine. I, I read it. I liked it. It's fine. Three star rating are good books. I, I like them. I uh, read them. I enjoyed them. Four star rating is a super good book. It's, it's a very nice book and I will probably recommend it. And a five star rating is the uh, least common and it is one so good that I will be recommending and I will be forcing my friends to read those books because they are just so good. I don't expect I will have many actually this year if I if I have any <laughs> but yeah. So this is my reading list for the months and stuff. Um, hopefully it will be filled out. I don't know. Uh, those are my five star books uh which like i said i don't know if there will be any or like just a few we will see i don't know yet this is my tbr list it mostly consists of all the recommendations i have stuff i've already like loaded on my e-reader or have physically uh, like acquired have copies of it uh, older stuff newer stuff um it will probably grow a bit uh, but I mostly use my recommendations for 
a TBR list. So this is kind of, I don't know. And those are the recommendations. I've watched a lot of videos of the best books of 2022 and the worst books of 2022. <laughs> and I've written down some that I want to read. So those are in here. I've added this because I didn't know how much pl uh, space I would need and I only made two pages and I realized I might need more so that's why this is a like tip in and then I have a spread that is going to be the best of the year with the three best characters I've read all year a favorite quote and the best books of each month uh, and probably at the end I will make a like the best books of the best books I don't know we will see and yeah that's it <laughs> I don't have anything else I would have a space for more spreads if I wanted if I like want to make like a um elimination thing uh, competition for books or I don't know the best uh, whatever I don't know if I m need more uh, spreads I can add them um, I could technically add notes in this on the books I read but like I said I'm not a note taker I do not do that <laughs> so this is pretty much it yeah i'm i mean i would love to have like a big notebook with like collages and like artistic stuff in it for my reading but i it will probably be a waste and i'm not someone who has the patience for collaging anyway so um this is it it's just a small inch i did even have a smaller f at first a smaller one uh, that was like my annual book in a midori uh, md paper lights b6 but uh it wasn't i didn't like it and it wasn't enough space so i thought why not use one of those uh wanderings inserts that i have for my tn because i have many mm -hmm. uh and I don't know what to use them for so this is it yeah I hope you liked it my pretty little uh, thin reading journal <laughs> oh yeah uh, one other thing I made one for my husband too it is a lot simpler than mine even and it's just in a uh, spare car here moleskin car here uh notebook that i had it came in the three pack and i still had two <laughs> um i don't like the paper but he's fine with it so i set this up for him it has a little sticker at the front and i've just called it his reading journal with a small like quote and um this is his um, log for every month he does read actually well last year he re read a lot more than I did so he does read like regularly so this is his log for his months and his star rating looks like mine this is just the best of the year his five star books and books that made him one book that made him cry, made him laugh, made him happy, made him angry, and uh, taught him something. That's it. If he wants any other spreads, I will do them for him, but this is it. So, um, he did start filling it up. Uh, so, he did like it. Um, yeah, anyway, so those are the reading journals that I made for this year and uh hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye